Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Jeremy White to talk about artificial intelligence. Hello, Jeremy. Hello. So it's a bit of a buzzword at the moment, AI, but what does it actually mean? That's a good question. It actually means many different things and people use it as a catch-all to try and work out what they're talking about really because it includes machine learning and it includes narrow AI and broader AI. So most people have encountered narrow AI, what they consider it to be, uh, with these chatbots that you talk to on your phone and you think you're having a conversation with somebody but you're not. That's very narrow. It's almost like a decision tree process. You can very easily fool them. Where we want to get to is uh, conversations with um, with computers or a network of computers that are actually feel like conversations. Now one of the easiest ways to explain where we're going with artificial intelligence which is basically just teaching a neural network of computers or a computer to learn on its own is through, um, is through visual identification or through you know, image processing. We're seeing that all the time. So what they people, companies like Facebook have been doing is to try and teach computers how to recognize objects, classify them, identify them, and then put them in context, and that's the important thing. So they, their systems not only get as good as identifying cars and the make and the model of the year, but they can also say things like, this car is on the driveway of this house. And if you have ever dealt with a two or three year old child, those are actually quite complex sentences. Um, and you've got to remember this is the, um, the, the AI determining that for you. And so when these get more and more sophisticated, that's when you start to see companies start using AI, for example, to identify felons or uh, at um, football matches, which has happened in the UK, uh, or in China in stadiums, you know, identifying people with outstanding warrants and things like that. So that's the this, this side where, you know, where uh, humans cannot actually do that at scale and at speed, whereas AIs can. Artificial intelligence is essentially a way of crunching enormous amounts of data down into very, very simple things that you can understand. It does the heavy lifting so you can then work out what to do with it. And you've mentioned there a couple of applications which, tend, which are on the side of kind of um, civil unrest. What about for the corporate world, not just in terms of financial services, as an investor, which companies are using it in a beneficial way to drive efficiency and therefore share prices? Well, actually, there's a really good one uh, called a company called Orbital Insights, which uses, combines artificial intelligence and satellite imagery to predict stock performance of companies. So it, it monitors um, the number of cars in the car parks in shopping malls, and it monitors oil reserves, water reserves, agricultural performance, and that's a huge amount of data. Again, you, crunching that enormous amount of data and using AI to actually simplify it so you could understand it. And they were successful in predicting a um, a rather large percentage downturn in cars at J.C. Penney shopping malls in the States and predicted um, the coming, which then actually did take place, the coming decline in stock price in the fourth quarter of last year and then they ended up closing something like 130 stores. This was something that Orbital Insights used AI to predict before it actually was announced. Jeremy, thank you very much. You're welcome. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.